We already have some warriors. Thank you if you're watching. It's Morning Star. For four warriors in the north, south, east, west direction. Well, grandmother, travel council. <laughs> so grandmother told me to go live. So if you watch this now or later, the power is still the same. Getting tapped on the shoulder. I don't really have a schedule that I follow. I just do what they tell me to do. So if you watch this now or later, ah! <laughs> the power is still the same. So tapping into God's source energy in the great I am. <sighs> Breathe. Diving deep into middle mother guy earth. Back up into the great I am. Oto shikote tiata, o shikote a uatata. River of light, oto shikote a oto shiata. Wow, wow. Ata yumu shikote kate a uata ya shikote a na ata ete ya. I'm gonna just sit with this for a minute. Oto shikote a pa, oto shikote a. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Thank you. Oto Shika Kwanyan. Thank you. Oto Osh. Oh. Lavender Starburst going around. Oto Koshika Tetiapa. Oto Sho. Oto Shika Teama. Oto Asur. Tichika. Tine Ala. Esibio Bora. Tea. There is just an incredible download going on right now. Just tap into this energy and breathe. Put a protective bubble around us. For everyone's highest and best. To bring brilliance, brilliance, stardust to the collective. Right now I'm seeing a grid. The honeycomb grid around the earth. There is a lot, like I saw three. There's a lot of power coming in from the southern hemisphere. That is really brilliant and bright right now. It's in South America. Seeing balls of light coming in. It's like they're hitting my hand on this one, crossing over and then going back out. Whoa. <laughs> it's like a big wave just comes over and crashes over. It's just like, oh my God. Oh my word. So they told me earlier to go live and I'm like, we were doing stuff outside and you know, the neighbor has got his air compressor on and he's power washing his, his uh, roof. So it's all energy, right? It's all energy. So that's okay. So this morning, have you ever woken up and you are in between worlds? You are in, you are in another realm and they were like showing you all this stuff and you think, oh, I should like, push a tape recorder or I should write this down immediately. Oh, and then sometimes it would happen and it would be like, I'm gonna slow my energy down, my talking down. And it would be like, oh, I'll remember this. 
I'll remember it. And then it kind of goes through the, ah, and you don't remember it. But this morning, they allowed me to actually, uh, it was like, it was like it happened. And then they allowed for the, for the energy to continue until I was able to go get my phone. And so I did this, I did this recording. So this is what they were showing me. It was really powerful that we really do live in a matrix, that we really do live in a matrix. Now, the last time I was on, I asked everyone to like count, pick five things that you want to see manifested in your, in your life this week, right? Right? So as I'm going about and doing that, then guess what happens? It's like I just came off the worst last three days of just, you would have thought, I don't want to go live. I don't even want to be here. I don't want to be on this earth plane. And it was like, it was like crap. It's like, you know, when things like that happen, it's because they are clearing out stuff. And when we ask and we say, bring it on universe, bring it on, show me in synchronicities and signs and wonder of the things that I'm wanting to manifest, whatever it is, whatever, whatever it is. Bring in some more blue light energy. Thank you. Bring So I'm not going to give you a play by play, but this was basically what it was in a nutshell. So they were talking to me about manifesting. And so this week it was like yeah i'm ready for i'm ready for like these five things that i'm wanting to see manifested some of them are pretty big and some are like you know whatever but you know wanting to see it right so it had three days or two and a half days of just like shit show right and so this morning it was like uh. so they were showing me that it was all it's like a video game that they were showing me this morning that there are overlays and they showed like a fan, you know, like an old Victorian fan where the ladies would hold a fan, right? They could close it or fan it out, right? Well, in the um, um, symbology of what they were showing me is that the overlays of energy of the timelines of what you want to create in your life from like, you're like on you know, a lower level, which is where I was last two and a half days. And then like this level and like next, next, next. And then the highest timeline, the highest level of what you're wanting to see and create in your life, right? So they showed it, uh, they showed it to me like that. And it was like this whole huge um, colors and almost like Tron, you know, like, a, like an electronic board where you would see imagery and, and colors, like, like this one level would be orange and this other level was like pink and this other level green and this other level blue. And it was funny because it was like blue was like the highest level, right? Right? Because this is an energetic release, even as I am trying to get this message out. Um, it's like my own 3D person's just kind of like, <laughs> and my higher self's like, come on, you know, grandmother's like, come on, you can get it out. Okay, so, so anyway, I personally, they said you focus too much on the money. Oh my God, I knew I was going to lose what the con, what, what it is, the money flow, the money. And it was a simple thing. It wasn't like this whole huge thing. It was just something right over here. And it was almost like a, like a coin purse. You know, I'm really trying to be descriptive in what I saw. But it was like the money thing. That's a, that's a trivial thing right here. And it was just like a hanging in the air right here. And they said, and it was like, but the focus, the real focus of getting any kind of change in that money stuff, money thing, is breathing and in your meditation time and reaching the bliss state reaching zero point creation in deep meditative state where you feel the release and lots of times as you go into that lots of times you will come across uh territory um like a land map 
a land mass of the good and the bad. And lots of times it, what stops us is that, oh, we're like, yeah, the good. And then the bad shows up, right? The bad. And, and it's like, no, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't want to go there. I don't want, I don't want to look at that stuff. Or maybe I don't want to look at that stuff today. But the key element is to go ahead and see it. Don't stay focused. You see it, but continue on in that journey. Continue on in that journey until you hit, hit the zero point of creation in deep meditation and when you hit that field it's like breaching the earth's atmosphere you know and like when rockets take off with the astronauts there's all this shaking and commotion and and it's all just absolutely right and then they break through the earth's atmosphere and then what is it and it's funny because he just stopped the air press and compressor on the water over next door i swear to god this it's all connected. It's all synchronicity. As you break through the Earth's atmosphere, it's quiet. It's peaceful. And that is where you create your life. You don't create your life by focusing on the money flow here in this little coin purse. This that you're creating here affects that but it's not the focus if that is your focus then what happens you everything collapses down then you collapse into this this like oh, I gotta have more money I gotta have more money to pay this I gotta have more money and then that becomes your focus and and then what happens everything here that's open and bright and beautiful and full of promise and hope and glory and the oasis of everything that is wonderful of creation that's here is where it's birthed it's not birthed in the money spot it's not it's not so as they were showing me the different layers it was like they were showing them to take a drink of coffee the doctors are all coming back with a thumbs up so there's like there's no tumors there's nothing on my throat it's it's from stress and stuff but so I had to get it checked out but so far all of the different doctors that I'm seeing it's it's okay so it's coming back good good so anyway I digress so okay so they were showing me the overlays and this is where you create your life so it was like they showed me the visual and like you're looking at uh, I will liken it unto a home in home show video game where you can you can pick out a sofa and put this up here and then you can like nah, I don't like that sofa okay I'm gonna take that sofa yeah I like that sofa okay um, okay yeah I want to create a fireplace here okay now I'm create a fireplace here okay and then I want a plant here okay so this is what they showed me this morning in that in between time in that that creation mode when you're you are receiving such incredible downloads and lots of times we wake up thinking I'm gonna remember that and then what happens it it slips through your higher self knows what's going on your higher self remembers but somehow it gets kind of we lost in the three day d right we wake up we have to go to the bathroom we've got to go to the grocery store right you know it just kind of but that's okay that's okay that's that's just what it is but in the creation mode so as you are so it was like i was seeing like a living room and i was like and it was in the vibrant it was in the frequency energy of like let's say pink and it was like no, and then and the next one came down. And it was like no, and okay, different sofa, different, different, different scenery, and then the next one, uh, maybe it was a red or and then purple, and then the highest was like blue, and then it settled in. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's the highest timeline, that's the house I see, I uh, and it was really amazing because about a week ago I had. Uh, I was just outside, you know, kind of sitting in the sun a bit and just, um, you know, just enjoying outside. And I literally was shown, it was like one minute I'm here and the next minute I'm tapped out and I'm literally walking through this house. I am walking through this house. I know it's in Arizona. It's, 
it, you know, you're walking, I'm seeing the furniture, I'm seeing the outlay of the kitchen, I'm going through and seeing outside and out back, and then it was like, cool. I was like, oh my God, that's, that's the future house. That's it. That's it. Right? And then a couple of days after that, same thing. You know, you're just, whatever. You know, life goes on. Life's, you know, something else is going on, and, you know, days have passed. And all of a sudden, I see a sold sign coming down. I was like, <laughs> a granite. On a 3D level, I don't have the funds to buy that house yet. I don't have plans to move to Arizona yet. I, da, da, not yet. But it's there. And it's already in spirit. It's already in spirit. It's there. I saw it. I walked through it. I could I, I walk I saw the windows I saw the whole thing I saw the whole thing so in like this morning's zero point creation that they it was like they just said here take a little take a little peeky <laughs> take a little you know glance and it was you know if you would listen to the video uh, on the tape I mean I am like <laughs> It was like a deep mushroom trip. I don't do mushrooms or, you know, on an ayahuasca ceremony. I mean, it was deep, you know, it was just like, whatever. Um, so anyway, that's where you create. That's where you create. And you can create anything when you tap into that energy. And when you tap into that frequency, that's where you create. It's not focusing on the money over here, the money stuff. It's not it. Mm -mm. It's feeling into the energy and the frequency of energy that you want to see happen in your life. That's it. And when you do that, that's when the 3D changes. It's like a big video game. Things will shift. Things will change. Okay, now I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to tell you one thing that happened. So yesterday I was kind of having a rough day. And I kept hearing, sorry, i got to take a drink. And I was hearing, go to Home Depot. And I'm like, I don't really fucking feel like going to Home Depot. And it was like, a little bit late, you know, a little bit later, it was like, go to Home Depot. And I was like, I'm like, okay, so, you know, we end up going to Home Depot, get a couple things, blah, 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 no big deal, right? This is what was interesting. I come walking out of the parking lot. I kind of knew where my vehicle had been parked. And at this one Home Depot that we um, go to, it's very, very crowded. It's not one of the bigger ones where you have a huge outlaying of parking lot. It's more kind of congested. So anyway, I kind of knew the area where the my car was parked at. So when I went to go walk and find my car, I actually came and I knew where my car was. I knew where my car was parked and I knew where it was. And so I walked, physically walked to my car. When I got to the vehicle, it was the car that I'm wanting and been sending out a frequency to manifest. I kid you the fuck not. Same color, everything. I don't, I don't even know where, where my Jeep was. I mean, it's like, I was like after, you know, know if you understand how incredible that was but it was just like coming out I know where my car is I know where the car was parked right heading in that direction and I I'm like what it's like wait what it's like oh this is the car that I've been I've been manifesting this is the car here it is I could touch that person's car when my car yet but I knew where it was and I walked right to it in a, in a crowded, you know, pickup trucks, construction workers, you know, they got all this stuff on their, on their pickups and you, you know, blocked views. You really didn't really know where you were going, right? I mean, you couldn't really, and I was like, oh my God. And then it was like, that was the sole purpose of why I had to go to Home Depot yesterday. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that wild? Isn't that wild? That that, at least in my life, that that's how they work. And so they're showing me, they showed me that this is what you're creating. I know the energy of it. I know the energy frequency of that vehicle. I know it. I've seen myself driving in that vehicle. And I walk out of the Home Depot and I walk straight to it, not knowing 
then I walked straight to it until I was like within two cars. I'm like, oh my God. So anyway. I don't know why I'm tearing up. I guess it's to say you have permission to dream big. You have permission in this life. And don't look for it on the outside, out there. Your own energy frequency, your own spirit, you have permission to have your best life now. I don't give a shit if COVID is going on around the world. I do not care what's going on in the 3D realm of news and all the bullshit. You can still have your best life now. Create it. Sit with it. Do a vision board if you want. Do a vision board. Feel whatever you do. Color, paint, go to a, you know, if you're wanting the new car, drive, drive to the damn dealership, lay your hands on it and declare, this is mine. Mine. <laughs> mine. 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 And that's it. And then let it go. Then let it go. Because if you focus on the little money bag over here, fuck, I can't afford that car. I, can, I can't afford this. I can't afford a what in the current 3D. I can't afford that. I can't if I'm only focused there. But in zero point creation, you can. You let your request be known. You release it and then let them work it out. And they will bring, I swear, I, I would swear on a Bible right now. <laughs> this works. This stuff works. And that is how you create your life. I don't care if it's a partner. I don't care what it is. This is how you create your life. And also in the creation of it, you step from the pose of being back here on the back side of it and everything in your psyche and in your mindset says, oh my God, right? This is happening. This is happening. I can't, you know, whatever it is, distractions, um, your own inability to even maybe get past fucking anything else. You can't even get to that deep meditation spot. You can't even, you know, sometimes like if you would have asked me after I said that about four or five days ago and I said, Hey, let's manifest five things in our life this week. Right. And then what happens, you know, the good and the bad. And it was like, journeying through right and then when they showed me this morning I in the last couple days I had been on the lower level I was I was on the lower level energy energy wise it's okay it's all right we are growing we are all learning no one actually has it all figured out none of us do but us as a collective as the grid goes out and it is it encompasses the entire earth as a honeycomb, right? Key component, people, person, people in various places all across the face of the globe. Hold the energy, okay? Archangels come in. The galactic councils come in. It's all held by energy code. So on any given day when, let's use myself for an example, I had like the last two days, I wouldn't, you know, thank, thank God that other people, that it is a community, that it does take a village to create this new 5D world, this new, the new world, the new earth, right? Thank God it takes all of us because at any given time, one of us is going to be high, one of us is going to be low, one of us is going to be really strong and the other one's not. And that's why all over in this honeycomb, all over the globe, the face of the earth, 
but this one's strong, this one's not, this one's not, da 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 da, right? I mean, it's like a beautiful dance of life, you know? If you ever watch dancers in a, in a creative performance, one, may, one person starts it out, right? Two or three others might come in from this side, two or three other from this side, others leave, uh, more come in, right? It's a dance of life, it's a dance, it's a dance, it's a dance, it's a creative dance. And it's beautiful. And it's wonderful. It's the stuff of dreams. It's the stuff of dreams. So let your dreams become your reality. Don't focus on the money spot. Focus on what you want to see manifested. You can journal it. You can write it down. And then you can tear it off. And then give it back to them. A request. Oh, thank you. So the other thing. I, sorry, i got to take a drink. So the other thing they showed me this morning was that they said, they showed me a table and they said, anything that you don't like about your life, no matter how many times you do this, no matter how many times a day, no matter how many times you do this process, there's this table and put, throw all of it on the table, all of it. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't make this happen. This person pisses me off. I don't have a good relationship with this person. Uh, bam, bam, threw it on, threw it on. Uh, 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 right? Huh, and you kind of feel, huh, kind of feels even good doing that, just releasing it, just acknowledging it and releasing it, right? Then they showed me this beautiful, almost white, and it was white. It was like almost like a white weaved cotton bag that was on the table comes up like a balloon, but it's like a white cotton material with a rope, comes up, seals it up, and takes it right back up. That, that's a cool process. I've used um, Masterco's other processes about, you know, throwing stuff on the board and painting it with, you know, blue. And then you take it off, and this is in print and keeling, and then you jerk it off, crumble it, throw it back into the violet fire, right? Cancel, cut, delete, cancel, cut, delete, clear, right? And then you spray your hands down. That's pranic, um, pranic healing medicine, right? But this today, they showed me just a tabletop. Visualize it. Man, you got a bad day going on. You got a funk week going on. You got a funk life going on. You throw it on there. I hate my dad because of this. I don't like this. I don't like the fact that I got to pay this. I got. I don't like this. I don't like fire like a like a gun or like a you know darts or whatever just bam 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 <sighs> and then let it go and then they take it the rope times and it just like a balloon goes right back up <laughs> easy peasy how simple is that how simple is that I love that I love that and even in doing that the couple times we've done it it was just like, I energetically, energy, I felt it, even my own, right? And it's just, ah. Then they threw it on that table, and it's just like, shit, I feel pretty stinking good. Wow, getting a little bit lit here. Ooh. Wow, getting a little, getting a little fun stuff, right? Whew. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, so when you are wanting to send out blessings to whoever, to whoever, right? You don't have to actually physically talk to them. You don't. You don't have to call them. You don't have to text them. You don't have to write them a letter. You want to bless a person's life? You speak to their spirit. You speak to their spirit. You could say, I see this over your life. I see how special you are. Wow, the dreams. Everything's coming into place for you. Everything. It's all okay. And it will always be okay. It will.
And matter of fact, the days that are coming are so full of glory. The smile in your heart, on your face, it's beautiful. Don't give up. Don't give in. It's okay. It's all right. And then like a love letter, you can send that energy right back out and you bless that person. They don't even, it doesn't matter. They don't have to know. You know, and I'm grabbing this just tap on it. So uh, in days past, you know, it'd be like, oh, um, I prayed for you the other day. <laughs> that feels just gross, doesn't it? sneaky old ego that's why you don't have to say anything because ego's like mm, yeah I did that <laughs> stinking ego <laughs> so it's like yeah as the years would go by and I would learn right learn you learn you don't you know ah, right ah, right puke ah. <laughs> so that's why you don't have to text them now if they if you get tapped on the shoulder text write a letter, do a phone call. I'm not telling you not to do that. Bless everyone every in any way, shape, or form that you want to do it. But all I want to touch on is the fact that you can help bless and create for other people's life, especially as a parent over your children. I have three adult children. That's what I do for them. I see their very best life. I see opportunities that open up, doors opening. There's a rain coming in. I speak blessings over them. I send them texts. I tell them how special they are. I pray for them. You might not have children. Maybe you speak over your plants. Maybe that's what you do. I do. I go out and talk to my plants and like, oh God, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. What, what? And then I'll, I'll, I'll look at another and I'm like, what, what's going on with you? What, what can I do to help you? What, what do you need? Right? And it's, it's all energy. It's all energy. It's okay. It's, speak to your pets. You know, your pets, you know what they need. You know, you know, oh, it's biscuit time. Oh, it's time to take a walk in the park. The one thing I will share with you this morning was that, um, and grandmother said it's okay, thumbs up. So this morning during that whole open-eyed vision and the whole being in that zero point creation, and I spoke out loud and I said, it's really hard for me to be here because out there is a home. Out there is home. That's my home. And I'm just down here doing some stuff for a while. But that's home. Out there. Out there. In creation. That's where I feel alive. I love you. I hope that this blessed you in some way, shape, or form. May your dreams come true. May things that you want suddenly appear. And so it is. Whew. Morning star. And peace out.